Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on this portable steam machine and this is the Central Machinery. It's a portable unit. Um, I bought this one on Harbor Freight. So let me tell you a little background about this. I've been searching all over the net for something inexpensive and somewhat um, good and I came across this machine. The reviews you don't find many reviews about them but if you go to youtube some of the very talented professional detailers recommended this machine i call a couple of my local friends down here in florida and they are also using this type of machine so i'm very curious to see if this machine live up to the expectation i already saw that there's a few flaws that they have shown in the videos but uh, for 106 dollars I don't think you can go wrong. You can pay the $35 for a two year extended warranty. So I choose not to. Um, I won't almost pull the trigger in a $700 machine, but I felt that, hey, let me give this thing a try. I had a real good success with my little compressor for decoding, so why not? I did quite, quite a bit of research on this central machinery uh, company. They make all kinds of tools. Uh, apparently they just sell them directly to Harbor Freight. So this is gonna be one of those things that it hit and miss, but I figured we'd do a video and see what the end result is. So I'm gonna flip this thing around and start unpacking this. Uh, we're gonna test it with one of the Turbo Watts hats, white one, uh, it's, it's quite bad. And hopefully I can bring this to, to life so I can use it again. It's all dirty from touching it and so on. So we're flipping this and down we go. All right, so we have this thing turned around and it's a 1500 watt steam cleaner kit. And it says here the steam lasts to 45 minutes with a full tank of water. Uh, it has the capacity, the temperature. Then it has the picture here for the wheels. And that's a sink, engine parts, some towel, barbecue, and floors. I have a barbecue back there. Back there. So maybe I try that on the barbecue. And then on this side here, it says that it has about 18 attachments. That's a picture of all of them. So we're gonna open the box and, and take them out. And uh, the primary use for this for me is gonna be for more, more likely for the engine base. I think that will speed up the process a lot and those tight areas and somewhat of the interiors. Um, I don't have a lot of interior work. All my customers, they're interior fanatics, so they don't eat on their cars, they don't drink, they don't smoke, they vacuum every week and they keep them quite nice. So I don't think that I will be using a lot on the interiors, but you never know. It's, it's a good thing to have. And uh, yeah, so let's see here. And here's the, the dirty hat. So, I'm gonna pause this, open it up, take everything out, read the instructions, and then we get back at it to, to give it a try. All right, so we have everything out, and uh, here are all the attachments, different brushes and so on, and you can clearly see right away the plastic -ish, you know, an expensive uh, quality, but they're there you know um this this is to fill up the water it came with a little funnel which is nice it came with the measuring cup they want you to go all the way to 800 right there mil so i already put the water in i noticed that the cap is is secure you have to push it in and then turn it that's a nice feature there's the on and off on the back side and the core is about eight feet, so that's quite nice. And the core for the electrical too. So those two things I like already. Now here's my biggest worry already. I saw in some of the videos that people, are, they were complaining about these little O-rings breaking. Um, so let's see. Um, but there's, there's there, and they're in here, and they're in here. So I am going to put this attachment just with this little one here, which is the one I'm going to be using. I read the instructions. Um, everything is quite clear, quite simple. Um, so I'm going to connect this. Uh, supposedly, when you turn it on, the red light will come on. 
and uh, and then after it goes off it's ready to steam so it's pretty basic she came with this dirt or stain or i don't know what it is um but um we're gonna we're gonna see so i'm gonna put these things in here and hopefully the uh, the o-rings don't break i have more o-rings here for something else but let's see so let's do this okay so we're connected that's uh on and here's the indicator lights and i was uh i put the piece in and i was tinkering with the lock and it feels real flunsy so let's see so now i have to wait for this light the red light to go off and then we should be ready okay so the light is off and uh, I put this little adapter and it is driving me nuts that I can have it straight. It would only fit to the side or to the other side. And then I just push the trigger and according to the instructions, you will have some water coming out. So I have it right there. And, uh, and I think that we're gonna attempt to do this. Let me switch hands here. I'm gonna do the hat right here on the place. And let's see. It's hard to tell. We're gonna go to the barbecue and have something a little better, but I can see that it's cleaning up quite nice. So maybe I need to do a little more. We're going to attempt this again. Right, we're going to attempt again. I'm going to wipe this off. All right, so we want to give the steamer a try in the engine bay. Uh, more likely, this is what we're going to be using it for. So let's try a few spots here and see. First of all, you're supposed to let it bleed out. Wipe it out, wipe it off with the microfiber. Let's try somewhere else, maybe right here. So I made some phone calls last night and uh, they're saying that um, some of the guys that use this just to move a little faster um, as I was doing before probably not fast enough but here seems to be okay all right it might be a little hard to see but let's try here on the interior leather seats to see Oh yeah, a, a big, 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 big improvement. Big improvement there. So I'm happy about that.
Yeah, definitely, definitely for this it's working good. Even the little holes, they were all black. I can see them coming alive. A little bit on the dash here, maybe. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely a huge, huge improvement. So we did the, the barbecue and we did a few other things, the hat and so on. Um, it was a little learning curve, but this seems to be working very nice here on the, on the leather interior. Okay, so we're back at the shop and boy, what a journey. So let's make a recap. Um, we, we tried the new steamer uh, we tried the hat and the hat is looking good. So we're back in business with the hat. We did the barbecue grill. Um, it, it worked okay. You have to work it. You know, the manual labor has to be there still. We did the uh, interior on the Explorer. Big improvement there. We did the engine bay on the plastic. Big improvement. We did a little bit on the carpet. Big improvement. So in resume, if you're gonna do a small task for like the engine bay and the dash, I recommended the machine. If you're gonna do the carpets, I think it's better to stick to the old fashioned cordless drill with the brush and a little bit of juice. I don't think the steamer has enough juice to do the entire car. Uh, remember, it's a $106 machine, portable machine. Uh, I'm still I'm happy that the little plastic piece it never broke on me, so it's still there. And I'm still upset that uh, I cannot put this piece straight, so it has to be on the side. And um, the core on the on the hose is long, so I'm happy about that. The extension core is long, I'm happy about that. Um, according to the instructions here, the steam will lose whatever is in the surface, but you still have to go with the microfiber and remove the remainder of the dirt or whatever it is that you're removing. So overhaul for $106, I think is a great investment. Um, the only thing that I'm not too crazy about is the waiting time. Um, but for the price, you know, I'm willing to wait the 20 minutes to refill the tank and do another round. Um, lessons learned from this in my case, um, I learned that if you move the machine fast enough, it works a lot better. And you can see it on the video that I made the mistake with the hat. I was just standing there. I was hoping to get everything out, but it was a learning curve. I'm sure the hat has second degree burns, uh, but no, just kidding, it's all good. Um, so yeah, I, I put about three, four hours between yesterday and today with the machine to learn it, um, understand better the steam. And uh, I think that I got it now. So hey, I hope this video is helpful. Uh, if you're on the fence about it, don't expect, expect a miracle. Uh, it's just a good portable machine to do small tasks. Uh, if you're gonna be all day, every day with this, um, you know, hours at the time, I'm not sure she will withstand that. Um, the one real big downside on this machine is that there's no spare parts. So these are throwaway machine. One that goes bad, throw it away and buy another one or move on to something else. So other than that, you know, I'm quite happy with the investment. Best hundred bucks, I hundred six bucks I spent. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you like to follow us on Turbo Wax and Instagram, check our website turbowax.com. Let us know how we're doing. And until next time, thank you for watching.